This is the Ultrasonics Research Platform. So what we have is uh, the interface in regular clinical mode, so it's full screen. So when we go into research, pressing the button, little pop-up research mode is now active. And so this turns now into like a Windows desktop program, so we can minimize it, bring it back up. So what researchers like to do is sometimes install their own programs. And so if we roll our cursor over to the edges, yes. we have these research menus. So as opposed to just what the regular clinical user can change on the main screen or the touch screen. So we can change to different menus just by using the menu param function here. So as I dial through here, for instance, I'll go to the transmit menu. So as opposed to just being able to change the frequency like a, a regular user, you can also <coughs> change the pulse index or pulse shape. And we can turn on plane wave. And that means instead of a, a focus beam, yeah. all the elements are just going to fire at once. That's useful for imaging with like the Sonics DAQ. Yeah. So the DAQ, because it collects all the channels at once, you typically want to fire them all at once as well. Yeah. So there's over 500 different parameters that the, the researcher has access to. So RF mode is a unique feature of the research package. Yeah. So you see this screen changes here, and we have still the B mode image, but then there's a spectrum on the bottom. So I'm actually going to change our RF sampling rate. So now we're collecting at 40 megahertz. So right now we actually have B mode on. I hit the update key. I can go to RF mode. So this is an RF signal. And we're just visualizing a single line on the screen represented by these dots here. And so even though we're just visualizing the single line, yeah. we're collecting each line of data into memory in the background. So once you collect data, yeah. we can hit the record button. Okay. Now we have our data storage screen. So depending on what mode you're in, you're going to have access to I don't know, 15 or 16 different types of data. And then all the data can be accessed on the D drive. On, this on, the, on the system? Yeah, right on the system. So I can go into our study folder. So there's the RF data and the BMO data. Yeah. So these are raw file formats that you would use C++ or MATLAB to open up and process. Uh, 8, 8 to 40 megahertz, the high frequency programs. This one's centered at 15 megahertz. Yeah. So when we compare that to our regular linear, this would be like 7.5 megahertz. Okay. So with high frequency, it means that we have better resolution of near field structures. Okay. So placing it on my finger, I get a nice field of view here within the one CM. So if we're doing small animal scanning, we can see all the internal organs with this transducer because <clears throat> it is such high frequency. Two CM on a mouse will yeah. pretty much cover everything that we yeah. want to see. Oh wow, that's neat. Yeah.